Let's talk MLS now as in Major League Soccer. They announced they'll be expanding by six teams. The next two will be in Los Angeles and likely Miami by the 2018 season. As the formal application deadline nears, how are cities across the country working to put their best foot forward? New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Balea takes a look at the ongoing effort to get a Major League Soccer team in Sacramento. They've been at this for a while, Drew. They sure have, and actually they're pretty close to the front of the pack. They have the criteria that the MLS is looking for. Great fan support, a large market size, geographic location. They also have corporate support and stadium plans that are in place. But these other cities are now making moves to attract the MLS. The Sacramento Republic Football Club is positioned well for Major League Soccer expansion conversations. We've invested a lot of dollars. Part of that is our commitment to believe that we're going to be an MLS team. The Republic has sold out all but two of its games. The team has a corporate sponsor lined up, and most importantly, stadium approval if the MLS decides to come to town. A great brand, strong ownership group. They've already solidified their site. They've solidified their ownership group. So they're ahead of the rest of the pack. The rest of the pack is catching up. We're trying to bring the world's most popular sport to one of the world's greatest cities. Today, San Diego announced its proposal to build a $200 million stadium at the former Chargers home, Qualcomm Stadium. We're not asking for a penny of taxpayer money. Investors in Charlotte, North Carolina, also presented a plan to revitalize a historic stadium for $175 million. But they're asking for public funds, and not everyone is on board. If they want to go ahead with it, then they can fund it. As far as I'm concerned. Other cities in the mix include Detroit, Michigan, which is backed by billionaire owners of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Detroit Pistons. Drum in, look out. And St. Louis is back in the conversation, but struggling to get approval for a $200 million stadium after a city vote was delayed. The delay allows some of the members that still have questions to get those answered by seeing some of the other financials behind the deal. So those are just some of the cities that are making recent moves, but there's still five other cities out there competing. Nashville, they're still trying to figure out where they would put a stadium if they were to bring the MLS to town. Tampa, they put together a panel to try and attract the MLS. Also, Cincinnati, they have plans to use the University of Cincinnati's stadium, but there are some concerns because there's already an MLS team in the state of Ohio. San Antonio has some great ownership. The pe same people that own the Spurs own the team that would be uh, in San Antonio. And then also Raleigh, they have plans for a stadium, and they're going to use 100% private funds. So a lot of competition out there. It's going to be very tough to see who those next four teams will be. Well, MLS is red hot right now, but yeah. the officials with that league all but promised Sacramento that, <laughs> that they would be next last oh, no. time around. So yeah. a lot of positive momentum. We'll Let's see what happens. Hope for Sacramento's sake. You're right. Thank you. Drew, thanks. The Am